Lights, camera, action. The movie industry is back filming in Ohio this evening, this time out west in the town of Wellington. But as Will Uick reports, this may just be the new beginning of a business looking to bounce back here in Ohio. There's something magical about the industry. I, mean, I definitely, uh, myself, my colleagues definitely missed it. As businesses and industries continue to open back up after the pandemic, that list includes Hollywood. I think I just missed the people most. Um, you know, we were on set today with about 160 extras and seeing how happy everybody is to be working and, and making, telling stories. Here in Lorain County, Wellington has been transformed with storefronts made over, old cars brought in for the set of White Noise, the Adam Driver Netflix movie shooting here today. But local casting director Angela Bohm says this may just be the beginning of a re-emerging film industry here in Ohio. People have applied for the incentive that will be coming hopefully uh, end of summer, fall, and we should find out this month what movies those will be, so that's really exciting. The Ohio Film Office says White Noise, expected to be on Netflix next year, and other movies looking to shoot in the Buckeye State are benefiting from the Ohio Motion Picture Tax Credit, a way for them to save millions as they get back to rolling tape. Are they bigger movies or are they small stuff, a mix of both? I can just say that multiple movies have applied. It, I would say a mix of both. That's a fair question. Uh, a mix of both. The tax credit has generated an economic impact of about 700 million in Ohio, luring projects to the area and providing work for everyone from artists to extras. And it's why Boehm says other projects will be continuing to kick the tires right. on using Ohio as a backdrop. Uh, Cleveland's become a real hot spot to film. People love our crew, they love our locations, um, they love our film commission. It's, it's just a really great community here that we're, we're really growing and building up. In Wellington, Will Uick, 3 News.